So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. I'm back on the 250. Thanks for sticking around. Now I haven't been on this bike for a while. I think before Christmas since I properly rode it. The last time I rode it, I fell off quite a few times, so I vowed to change the tyres and do a few things to it. Also, the grip came loose, so I fixed the grip. I still haven't put the off-road tyres on it, so it's still got the road tyres on it. What we're going to do today is we're going to plod around, because it's a Saturday, and I don't really like going out riding on a Saturday, because there's too many people out, especially on a nice one like this. So what we're going to do is chill out, just ride some country lanes. I might hit some dirt roads, but only if they're dry. Because I've got my good jeans on, I've got my good jacket on, I don't want to wreck it. And you know what I'm like on a bike, I tend to fall off, especially in the mud. So if I see a puddle, I'm going to bottle it, I'm afraid, because I don't want to get wet. So let's just plod around, have some fun, see what the country roads offer up. Don't know where we're going. <laughs> do I ever? I like this bike, and do you know why I like this bike? Because it's slow. <laughs> Sounds weird, doesn't it? You like a bike because it's slow? Yes, I do. I like to plod around every now and again. Hasn't got a loud exhaust, it's slow, it's relaxing, but it's still fun. I've had the tyres for ages for this bike, but I still haven't stuck them on, simply because this is no excuses now, and I'm not trying to say anything's happened or I'm trying to get out of anything, but I'm damn lazy. That's the reason I am so lazy. I just haven't got around to it. I was meant to buy a stand to put under the centre so I can lift both wheels off, but I haven't done that yet. Not that I need that, I just want that. But yeah, basically it's just laziness. It's been cold, my garage is cold, and I haven't given myself the motivation to change the tyres. But now it's getting a little bit warmer, and the sun's starting to come out, and it's getting nicer. I have to get on and do that, because I want to hit those green lanes in the week. I don't like hitting them at the weekends. Too many horses, people, and other people on bikes. I like hitting them in the week when they're quiet. And that's probably one of the good things I've got about shift work, is I get a lot of days off in the week. So that's handy for going out, filming, and mucking around generally. The only downside to that is you have to do it on your own. And they say in off-roading and green lady never go alone. But I've got a phone signal everywhere I go, so I can call in the air ambulance. It's not a big deal. As long as I crash at the top of the hill, it's fine, because then I can roll down to the bottom where there's a road. I've got it all figured out. Jesus Talk about do not move over. See, and that's the thing about these lanes on a Saturday. People like that, that don't care. They don't value your life, don't value your space on the road. I mean, look at this big ass car. Move the f over. <laughs> they just look at you like a little speck and they just think, f you, get out of the way. Do you know what I mean? I've got a Range Rover, you're going to move. And I've got no choice. That I'll splat myself on the bonnet and I don't fancy that. But that does not mean I'm not going to give you a little scare on the way past. And also on a Saturday, a lot of cyclists and a lot of horses out. So you've got to be mindful of those as well. That's one of the other reasons I'm out on a little 250 today. It's nice and quiet. As I've said before, I like the quietness of it. Down my favourite bumpy road. Means nothing to this little 250, this bumpy road. It's like a magic carpet. You've got to be so careful of cars down here. But not so much cars, but people that can't drive in cars. And big cars. There's a lot of people out in the country have these bloody Range Rovers and Mercedes G-Wagons and big shit like that. And they just take up the whole road. So they drive actually on the wrong side of the road. So you've got to be very careful of that. And people that can't drive, not used to country lanes, so they straddle the middle completely on a bend. They don't see it as a, they've got to stick quite tight when they go around a bend, just in case something's coming the other way. I mean, about a big car, what's the point of coming down here? You can't enjoy it. You've got to go so slow. I mean, you're going 20 miles an hour under the speed limit. You might as well take the 40 mile an hour main road probably going to get there quicker. Yeah, this is more picturesque and you're going to enjoy the views, but you've really got to concentrate on the road, so you're not going to get to enjoy those views. And if two of you are going in opposite directions enjoying the views, that's a head-on. As you can see, lots of traffic out today, so I might have to find my fun elsewhere. That means uh, I'm going to hit a little bit of dirt. Not a lot. I'm not hitting the muddy puddles, but what I'm going to do is hit the dry stuff. I'm definitely going to hit the dry stuff because it's dry. Like this. I'm going to do stuff like this because 
As I said, it's dry. Oh, it seems the winter has taken its toll on these roads. This was smooth last time I went down. It certainly is not now. Oh, there we go. It's only a short road, but I needed to get that under my belt. There is one more I'm going to take on the way to Newlands Corner, and I know that's not going to be muddy, slippery, or anything like that because it hasn't rained for five days, and it's pretty good even when it's wet. Although it's chalky, it's pretty good in the simple fact that all the water runs down it. So if there's any water, it'll be completely at the bottom. Gomshaw, just in case you're wondering where this is, nice little riverside pubs here. People hang out, as you can see, having a beer by the river. Not a bad lifestyle, is it? Not a bad lifestyle. So old buildings. I show you everything on these videos. They're very informative. It's almost like watching the History Channel, except without any information whatsoever. I do like a brick wall. I know this is random, but I do. I don't know what it is. I like a brick wall. I like a brick built building. I like bricks. Weird. I know. I can't explain it, but I do. Stone walls, hmm, some of them I like but brick walls yes look at these buildings here look at these chimney pots up here they're quite spectacular i mean i would always be nervous if it is very windy that one of them's going to fall down because if they fall down they're going to cause a hell of a lot of damage i mean they'd kill anyone that's coming underneath but absolutely spectacular buildings stunning even stunning and next to a pub bonus oh look a nice brick wall <laughs> i know you think i'm weird but I don't care. This is a nice alternative route up to Newlands Corner. But of course, only if you have an off-road bike. I mean, you could do it on a GSXR or something, but I wouldn't really recommend it. But we're gonna go a little bit slower today. One, I haven't been off-road for many, many, many months. And two, I'm expecting to see a lot of people out today. Not necessarily uh, bikes, although, you never know and they might be coming down the other way and there's only one real line in the middle here so you've got to be a little bit careful if it was one way it'd be nice and easy wouldn't it let's get over this side i can get a good view up the hill then ah this is a life just poodling along chugging along little 250 single cylinder off the beaten track taking the roads the other bikes don't take this is the way we roll as I say, you've got to be careful on a Saturday. It's got loads of people like this. Thank you. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Where are the kids? Sounds wrong. See, that's how to do it. If you're taking your kids and dogs and animals in places like this, what she had was a whistle. It's quite a good idea, actually. Just whistle for the dog and uh, just let me know that there were kids and animals around so I can slow down as well. Not that I can go a lot slower than this, but you know what I mean. It's a good way to be. Now, a lot of people would see you on a bike, assume this is like a footpath, and then have a go at you. There's kids around here. What are you doing on the motorcycle? But what I don't realise is... Uh, this is actually a bloody road. Drivers or large or slow vehicles must phone and get permission to cross. Does this class as slow? Does my bike class as slow? Should I phone ahead and get permission? Or shall I just jump it? <laughs> All good fun. All good fun. That was nice, actually. I didn't even know that was there, that level crossing. That was a nice little jump. I don't normally jump. But that one was nice. I have no idea where I am now. And this is fun. I like just getting lost. Gotta be careful up here. This is small and tight, but not a lot of room. Oh, you timed that right, didn't you? Did that say public byway? See where this uh, ends up. Ah, this is as far as it goes. Exciting, eh? These tyres are absolutely shite in soft sand. Oh, there's a road there. 
there's this turnout looks like it comes out into a car park right that was exciting let's turn around go back the other way that's a public footpath can't go that way it's very deceiving these lanes No, no, I just can't. I just saw it as I was going down the road, and I thought I turned that. Left up here, a little road one. You've got river crossing and everything. Oh, I ain't got the tyres on for that. Oh, but... Couple of nice chaps there. Green lane in. That's what it's all about. People getting along, having fun. They told me about some more lanes. I'm not going to tackle them on these tyres. And then they meet up 10, 11 o'clock on a Saturday, Sunday morning, or Saturday morning, because it is Saturday. And they just all go out and ride the lanes. Do it at your own pace. That's quite cool. <laughs> idiot. This is the village of Sheer. This place is absolutely lovely. Wouldn't mind living in a little village like this. It's just got a really nice relaxed vibe. Very busy in the summer though. It's quite famous. But I mean look, a little tiny village and all these people, lots of tourists. It's been in a few films you see. Well, it must be frustrating if you live in a village like this. I don't know whether they embrace it. I'm sure the shops do, and the pubs, and the people that make money. But the people that just want a quiet life, they kind of get invaded. I know one film that this was in, but it must have been in more than just the one film. Because there seems to be a lot of tourists here. Maybe it's in a guide as one of the most beautiful villages in Surrey, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason. I'll Google it when I get back. I'm not going to put it on screen, I'll tell you guys, because I'll be at home and that means recording something else. And I'm not going to do that because I'm far too lazy. So you're going to have to look for it yourself. The village is called Sheer. So Google it and then you can find out for yourself why it's so busy. I think it's just busy because it's absolutely stunning. It's a lovely little village. Right, there you go. End of the video. Wow, that was exciting, wasn't it? No, not really. Another one, me plodding around, talking shite, doing f all. Oh, look. A brick wall. I mean, what other motor vloggers point out some stunning brick walls to you? None. Do you know what? You should stick around. This channel's f***ing brilliant. Anyway, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Do not forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. As usual, leave your comments in the comment section below. I shall see you on the next one. You know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get go gone. Get gone. Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong So go ahead and get